How's everybody doing? Mike Dixon here, Simply Your Device, coming to you. I want to correct from last week, I talked about, or Monday, I think it was Monday's vlog, I said I was in Logan Township. I stand corrected, it's actually Woolwich Township. Logan Township is just down the road going that way. Uh, <laughs> uh, exit 2, we're coming on, the standard Exit 2 uh, uh, video. We're going to have a car vlog today. Uh, a day, another damp day, 54 degrees, going to be cloudy, going to be ick. It's supposed to be nice over the weekend. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's had had a good week. Hope everybody took time to enjoy your tech. There we go, paid my toll. So let's get into, I got, I got a lot to cover. And try and do this in, in about 10 minutes here. Uh, tonight, Friday Night Tech Talk, Friday Night Tech Talk, George Mobile Geezer. I may not be on if I, I am going to try and shout out, you know, get a hold of George and let him know this. But stop on over, give him a, you know, come on over, get into the chat. And, uh, and yeah. I will post it on Twitter if I'm hopping on or not. Thank you for the response for who watched my uh, Wednesday's video, the one that uh, I did the unscientific camera comparison. Big shout out to Jay Will, Brian, and my Project 13 Anthony. And if uh, I'm going to leave here a little link if you want to catch that video if you have not seen it I wanted to uh, do a camera comparison of the of three different phones you not knowing what they are yet I have to shoot that video I have to shoot that that response video of what they were and my comments and thoughts and share the comments that were in there. Uh, again, and uh, shout out my wife. Shout out to my wife for uh, yeah. She was a she was a big help though. She really was. She she added also comic relief. Anyway, uh, the topics I want to cover is the the biggest news to me that came out was T-Mobile and laying off a whole bunch of people word on the street is they're going to be closing stores uh, corporate stores and what I could read from the uh, from the news uh, the press release from Mike Seaver I believe it is the CEO of the company that they're uh, re- Aligning the company for the times uh, to that online shopping, it has a dominating effect. And I, I want to now. This is this is where my opinion comes in. My opinion is bullcrap. Bullshit. <coughs> All right, okay. This uh, this company, this T-Mobile. Which I, I I am a postpaid person, so you know I'm, I'm not hating them, but I am hating them, and I almost want to, as as Juan Bagnell says, you, you use the, you know speak with your wallet and take my business elsewhere, but I'm not going to be that foolish just yet because the promise was for three years. And people are bringing up that tweet from John Le John Legier, the time at the time the CEO during the merge, 
three years of no price increases, no layoffs, growth in within the company, hiring so many people. Now, they have done nothing but layoffs. I've seen uh, not long ago they laid off engineers. Now, granted, you knew they kind of had to lay off people from the merge of, of Sprint and the people that were working at Sprint. And that pro I, I want to say I think that happened too. But what they did was they basically canned all the management teams in the corporate store. So both territory managers, I'm reading assistant managers and managers of corporate stores. what I read was they're going to be close. Now, this is where the part that doesn't make sense. This is where I can't wrap my head around is they saying that it's more online. I, I don't know about you folks. I don't know how often you go into a, in this case, a T-Mobile store, but I'll venture near in there probably, you know, three or four times a year. And I know those times I've go, gone in there, they're busy. I generally have to wait. They're not like just sitting there, you know, chewing on bubble gum and, and, and scrolling through their phones. They are busy with, and there are other customers waiting. So I don't, I don't get this. Yes, the world is a lot more online. And then there's chatter about, there's rumors about them buying Mint Mobile, which is just simply, and then which is interesting though, you know, Mint Mobile is strictly online. The, the whole process of at least signing up and now Mint Mobile starting to sell phones and using a third party for financing. It's interesting to see that Mint Mobile is, you know, today, I think today's the last, no, is today the last day? I think today's the last day you like to get the Mint Mobile special for the Pixel 7 Pro for $4.99 and a, and a year of, of service, six months free, six months you pay. That's a hell of a deal. So that there, something's going on. Something's going on with laying off these people and then the talk about T-Mobile buying Mint Mobile. But you still need a physical store to go to. You still, if you got a problem, and customer service, I customer service is not what it used to be at T-Mobile. You definitely, I'm dealing with more and more uh, uh, not T-Mobile employees when you call customer service. It's it's not it's not the same, and it's a shame. What do you think? Leave the comments down below on, on this whole T-Mobile. I'm going to try and grab the links, some of the articles. I'm going to also get a Sneed Tech. That man covers carrier, anything about the phone, service. Beyond This man gets beyond getting into the weeds. This man gets into what signal they're using. He's over, I believe, in Cleveland, Ohio, somewhere. Constantly reporting on his service. Constantly reporting on any kind of news, breaking news in the carrier service related field. And this is dealing with uh, my Project 13's video on non copyright music and him getting. A, a video uh, non you know de demonetized and it wasn't a strike basically the money that he would earn from his video uh, that 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 valve was turned off because he used copyright he used I'm sorry non copyright music that he did not give the credit to and I'm holding up my hand even though I'm driving I'm holding up my hand. I'm guilty just as much. And now my weekend's going to consist of trying to find all this music that I just kind of like, eh. In my haste, purely in my lazy haste to try and get 
the vlog out. A lot of it's my vlogging music. Like the music you hear in the beginning of this video. But it but what surprises me and what's got me scratching my head is I'm seeing a lot of weird stuff in YouTube. This is going out to the content creators out there. The weird is in like Lady Red Tech Review. And she's been hounding people saying why is her view count changes after she does did a live stream and she can't get a she can't get an answer from anybody and I think I've seen the similar ones similar questions or the same question particular uh, she's asking about from other people and that isn't just really dealing with streams I think uh, Travis was it Travis I saw where he showed a view count and then the actual views of the video was different so what I'm driving at is this why all of a sudden why all of a sudden you well even Lady Red pointing out she got ding for music for a, for a video that she said that should be collecting social security it's that old and that's a that's a good line there. I love that one. But, uh, yeah. What's going on with YouTube here? And I want to comment in my, my, in my weird thought. When they put it out there that this is free music, then you got to look for the fine print. It's not really free. If you kind of think about it, we'll give it to you, but oh, there is this condition. It proves that not everything's for free. <laughs> for one, not everything's for free in this world. Everything comes with a cost. Just the, the think about, I, I, I know this, but the cost of actually taking time to go and maybe copy and pasting that link put it in the in, in the description below okay and then it just it just it just got me really scratched my head like what 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 precipitated what made somebody go hey look he didn't put the description there ding you know I know that YouTube's using AI stuff left and right is there a real person doing this? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what... How this came about. But... but that, that supposed free music is... I say it's not really free. It, it comes with conditions. I'm Mike Dixon. This is Simply Device. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day. You made it through this far. And if you, if you made it here... Today's word of the day, put it in the comment at least. Exit 2. We're going to go with exit 2 for the word of the day. Uh, new to the channel, consider subscribing, please. Uh, consider joining the membership of this ever-growing channel and, and the content that I am trying to make. Uh, please, your comments, you're new here, drop a comment other than exit 2 and you know, let me know what you think. What you think about my what uh, some of the things about T-Mobile and and content creation with the uh, music? Return, return subscribers. Thank you. I thank you as always for sticking it out, leaving a comment, and continue this journey that we have here. Everybody have a good weekend. Enjoy your tech. I'm out.